Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an African cat. I'm going to take two fingers on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curved line up and down. I'm going to draw a slightly straight line up, over, curved line up, straight diagonal, and stop. Right on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a little straight line out and a little straight line down, a little straight line in and a big curved line down. I come back to the left and right where my dot was I'm going to draw a straight line in, straight line down, curved line, straight diagonal down. Okay, right at the bottom I'm going to draw a straight curved line up, straight line up, down, little curve line, straight line up, big curve line, straight diagonal down, straight line, straight line up, down, straight line over, straight line up, and connect. Now that's a lot of lines, but what you have to remember is that these are not realistic looking animals. These are African art animals. Come way over on the left and just draw me one baby triangle, two baby triangles. Come all the way over here on the right and draw me one, two, three straight lines. Now come over here on the bottom and we're just going to draw straight line down, curve line, straight line up, connect straight line down, little curved line, straight line up, connect. On the back, straight line down, little curved line, straight line up, connect. Straight line down, little curved line up, straight line, connect. I go back to the left and on the bottom I go one, two, three straight lines. Come to the second one, one, two, three straight lines. Let's do the back, one, two, three straight lines, and this one, one, two, three straight lines. I come back over to the left and I'm going to draw a big curve line over, big curve line under, connect, and a little curve line inside. I'm going to go baby straight lines all the way around that space. I come to the very tippy top on the left and I draw a little curve line down and then I go zig zag zig zag zig connect and I'm going to draw a little tiny curve line up connect. I come back down to the left and I'm going to draw a curve line curve line now the back curve line curve line I come all the way up to the top and I'm going to go zig zag zig zag zig zag down and then I'm going to go zig zag zig zag zig zag connect. Move over. Zig zag zig zag zig zag down. Come back up. Zig zag zig zag zig zag connect. One more. Zig zag zig zag zig zag down. Come back up, zig zag, zig zag, zig zag, connect. Now you can add some more zig zags on the tail. So I'm going to add some zig zags. Keep going, keep going, and maybe add one, two little curved lines. Just to finish this leg off, I'm just going to zig zag this, zig zag that. Zigzag this and zigzag that. I know it's a lot of drawing, but wait till you see how we're going to color it in. 
Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color in my nose, color in this section of my eyeball, and do the rest of him in as many bright colors as I can find. This little space is going to be his tongue, so I'm going to do that red. I'm going to do his triangle ears orange, his stripes orange, all the way across to his tail. Do all these orange, the top part of his legs orange, just like you would a tabby cat, except this is an African cat. I'm going to come in with my yellow orange and do another layer of color. And they use a lot of colorful contrasting colors on African art. The more the merrier. I'm going to put a little teeny part of blue on the very bottom. And I'm going to make the main part of my cat green. So all of this section will be green. Don't forget the top of his head and all of his legs. Okay, let's see what this is going to look like all colored in. Here's my African cat all colored in. The more colors you use, the higher contrasting colors you use, the better he looks. Okay, bye-bye.